the last time I was here, I actually spoke about, I was interviewed just to talk about the trans list. It was a project that largely was in development for about two years, and it really started when I was um, the only, I noticed I was the only trans person in the Outlist, which was a documentary that came out in 2012. And um, I wanted to do a breakout list that just focused on trans folk. And what was so great about um, that film, from my own experience, was that it was the first time in my life that I can remember only hearing trans voices uninterrupted without a narrator, without you know a voiceover, without a journalist. It was just their voices for a full hour telling their you know multi-layered kaleidoscope of experiences and it really proved to me that I think the ultimate goal is that trans people are not a monolith we come from so many different experiences we had trans Latinas we had sex workers we had sex positive folk we had we had positive folk we had all kinds of um, different experiences and layers that I think that made me really proud to be a producer and to do the interviews for the trans list <laughs>